welcome to my channel. I'm Mark. This is Mark's Mods. And today, guys, we're going to do our Lancaster Bomber build. So we're going to do issue 7 of Build a Lancaster Bomber. Now, this is now going to be on the weekly schedule. This will be released on Wednesdays. So this is a new build. Uh, well, new build. And it's got its new channel. Uh, sorry, new day on the channel, which is definitely going to be Wednesdays from now on. So... Please look out for this on a Wednesdays. Now, all the bills now are starting to come in. Um, they are going to be going on their allocated days. So, um, yeah, it's going to be good fun. At the moment, the way things are looking, um, I'm still waiting for a few more bills to come in. And then we can keep get them back on the weekly schedule. But uh, I'm really enjoying this build so far. It's so different to be doing something than screwing things together. Um, there's a lot to be said for gluing in parts and bits and pieces and all the nice detail that we're getting with this model um, And I'm really appreciating that Anyway, enough of me rabbiting on, let's get on with today's build So, with all that said, let's get modelling Okay guys, issue 7. So today we're going to be working on the Flight Engineers uh, Station. So this should be jolly good fun. Um, again, it's a lot more parts to be gluing in. So we need this panel here first of all. I'm just going to get some glue out ready. Because this build did take quite a bit of glue. Okay. So the first piece we need is this piece here and what we need to do is we're going to be putting this piece into this piece just down into here and we're gluing that in so I'll get some glue loaded up again half moon shaped only can go in one way Okay, so that is, oh, sorry, that was in place, just popped out. Okay, so that's in place like so. The next piece we need is this piece here. This is going to be going around just like that. And it's going to be going in to two holes on here, which are this one here and this one here. Now again, these are half moon shaped. This is this really does help when it comes to fitting parts. So let's put this in, making sure I've got it round the right way, which I believe I have, just like that. So that's what that's looking like. Next, we need this very small piece here. This is just going to be going up here. Again, we have the half moon shape, so it can only go in one way. Totally, totally loving this. Fantastic. So that's in place. The next piece is this piece here. Again, this has a smaller peg and a larger peg, so you can't get it the wrong way around. Oh, dropping it. Just making sure that sits flush, which it does. So that piece is in there. Next we need this huge piece here. Now this is just going to go into these three holes and this one above. So again, uh, glue this in place. Oh, 
Okay, so that is in play. Right, moving that side, we need this piece next. And we need this piece next. Now, this is saying uh, this is a flight engineer seat. Fit together a rectangular tab, it fits into slow pan. Right, so we need to apply a little glue to this peg. So we'll just put a little bit on there. And then with it this way around, it's just going to fit on to there just like that. Okay. We're going to now put this onto here. <clears throat> this is going to go onto just here. <clears throat> Again, we've got a smaller peg and a larger peg. Uh, does it say this needs to be glued in? It should not be necessary to glue the part in place, so we should just be able to push fit this in. Okay, so that's in. Next, we need this piece. Um, they say this is to uh, take the seat back, and this is just going to go into it right next to it, just there. It's strange how this is actually fitting because it's going to go down through the frame like that. Okay, so that's in place. Should it be at an angle? No, that's better. Okay, so next we need is this control panel. And we've got a little detail to put on just at the top, which is this little detail here. So let's get this in. This is very small. Might have to use tweezers here. Make sure it's orientated around the right way. Well, that's straight. Okay, and then lastly, uh, we need to put this in. We don't need to put this in with any glue. Large peg, small peg again. And that's in place like that. And that's all there is to do so we have really really put some nice detail on this so far um that is looking tremendous um be nice when we start putting some of these maybe together just saying but apart from that i cannot fault this so guys that is issue seven complete well, guys, that's it for issue seven of the Lancaster Bomber. Please tune in for next week when we will be doing more of this build and we'll be doing issue eight. But um, it is satisfying gluing bits in, I've got to admit. The small bits, yeah, not as um, bad, not as good, really, because they are very, very small, minute bits. But uh, it is very satisfying. It just brings me back to when we did the Spitfire and we did all that detail on the engine and the cockpit and everything. I'm just hoping that the electronics are just as uh, are a heck of a lot better. I'm going to say just as good. We don't really want them to be like that. We want them to be a heck of a lot better than the Spitfire. But only time will tell to see how that goes. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, please could you give it a massive thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And you'll be notified of any future videos. But as for always, stay safe and bye for now.